I usually do game reviews, but this time I'm reading a little kid story. Two little kid stories, Sammy the Seal and Arthur. <laughs> it was feeding time at the zoo. All the animals were getting their food. The, uh, the lions ate their meat, the elephants ate an egg, the monkeys ate their bananas, the bears ate their honey. Then it was time for the seals to eat them. Mr. Dawson took them fish. Hooray for fish, said the seals. They jumped into the water. Wee! Soon the basket was empty. That is all there is, said Mr. Johnson. There is no more. Thanks. Thank you for fish, said the seals. They were good. The seals were happy. The seals were happy. And but one little seal was not happy. He sat by himself. He looked sad. What is wrong, Sammy, said Mrs. Johnson, Mr. Johnson. I want to know what it is like outside the zoo, said the little seal. I want to go and look around. All right, Sammy said. You have been a good seal. You may go out and see. Goodbye, Sammy, said the other seals. Have a good time. Goodbye, said Sammy. Come back soon. Wait, wait. Where are you going? I'm going out. Have fun, said the hippo. Come back soon to the giraffe. Sammy walked, walked, and walked. He did not know what to look at first. The seal, that seal must be out of town, said the man. Sammy looked at everything. What street is this, said a man. I'm a stranger here myself, said Sammy. I guess it's feeding time here, too, said Sammy. What a, what a lovely frog coat that said he later. Where did you get it? I was born with it. I wish I could go find some water. I'm, I'm hot. I want to go swimming, said Sammy. We are sorry. This... There is no room for you in this puddle, said the bulls. There is no room for you. For you here, said the goldfish. Keep out, said the pigeon. You are not, cannot swim here. Ah, there is a place, said Sammy. Who is in my bathtub, said someone. I'm sorry, said Sammy. He left at once. So the children were standing in line. Sammy got in line, too. What are we waiting for? Asked Sammy. School, what do you think? Said a boy. That will be fun. I will come, too, said Sammy. Sammy said. The teacher was not looking. Sammy sat down. The children made words with blocks. Sammy wished he could spell. All right. Now we will sing a song, said the children. The children were good voices. Sounds fine to the teacher, but one of you is barking, just like a seal. Is it you, Joey? said the teacher. No, said Joey. Is it you, Helen? said the teacher. No, said Helen. Is it you, Dorothy, Robert, Fred, Joan, or Agnes? No, said the children. Then it must be you. Said the, said the teacher. Yeah. I am sorry. This school is just for boys and girls. Let, please let me stay, said Sammy. I will be good. All right, you may stay, said the teacher. Sammy was happy. He sat at his desk and looked at the teacher. He learned how to read. He learned how to write. And now it's time to play. Who wants to play a game? We do, said the children. They threw a ball over the net. The ball must not not hit the ground, cried Sammy's team. Somebody catch the ball. Sammy caught the ball on his nose. A boy, a boy on the other team tried to catch the ball on his nose, too. 
Boys must cat must catch with their ha hands," said the teacher. Now, kids, don't try this at home. What this boy just did. Sammy tried to catch the ball with his slippers. Seals must catch with their noses," said the teacher. Up and down with the ball, front from one side to the other. <laughs> at last, the teacher blew her whistle. Who wins? Who wins? It is even," said the teacher. Everyone was happy. A bell rang. School is over. Will you be here tomorrow? Said the children. No, said Sammy. School is fun. I belong in the zoo. I just wanted to see, to know what it was like outside. Now I have to go back. Said, Goodbye, Sammy. Said the children. We will come back to see you. Good, said Leslie. Said Sammy. Sammy was in a hurry to get back to the zoo. He had so much to tell the other kids. May I welcome you, Sammy? Said, the, said Mr. Johnson. I'm glad you are back. You're just in time for dinner. There's no place like home, said Sammy. All right, everyone. I'm going to read Arthur by Mark Brown.